Street Bunny and Grants back to another speed paint. That is right, guys. I am still continuing on doing this. Now, I'd like to thank you guys um, for all your support you did um, in the first one. Honestly, I am super grateful. Um, I'm Shadow was also grateful. I got a chance to talk to her and show her the video. Um, she loved my comment that I did to bestly describe her. So that was super cool, and I'm super honored to have done that for her, honestly. Um, it was super fun to do all of that. I just, I had a blast, so um, from all the friends that I talked to, well, online friends, and from like some of the things they told me, um, I had a lot of mixed like people, contendents uh, up to make a list for, that I thought, why not just combine them all? Because <laughs> little do they know that each of them actually chose one another. Like, an example was someone chose this person, the other person, they're like, oh, this one's been going, this person has been going through some tough times, it's time for them to smile, or they're like, oh, this person really just wants to draw, be drawn, like, it's been a while since they had fan art, this other person was like, like, these three people should deserve to have, like, to get something out of this, like, to give them a little smile, so I was like, you know what, because I've been getting all of this, let's do it, let's combine them all, so yeah, from the red bear, some of you guys may know who they are, or from not, if not, and you still need a little help, by the way, thank you, Justice, for doing that render, that's a render he did for all of us, and I'm just, I like it, I love it, <laughs> but honestly, um, I wanted to say that these people, uh, they're actually part of Brian's, but, not body I can but yeah. Roleplay crew, that's right, some of you guys may know if, if you guys know me, I voice character in Dawn of Craft and Dead, or sometimes I play mini games. Um, from time to time, I was also Springtrap that one time, and I don't think I'm ever gonna go back for playing Spring Springtrap, um, but something that, I'm, not Springtrap, um, Plush Trap? Something like that. But honestly, I am super grateful to have met these people in, within my lives. I've known some of them barely like a couple months, other than like a couple years um for like for example like true blake um cat and as well as cam they they're some of the people that i've known now that i'm about to know now for two years even though we act or like we sound we we've been together for like two years now and it's strange to me because we have such a unique di dynamic that it feels like we've known each other for years Beyond that, um, I'm also super grateful to have known like um, Brian for like I've known Brian for a little bit. I'm super glad that these guys persuaded me because the story, if you guys watched the live stream, is that the story with um, how I got a chance to like meet Brian was because of Cad Cam, uh, my other friend, um, and uh, and like Blake. So these guys, one day, they tell me how they work with a YouTuber and how they have voice him, and they're like, I'm like, oh, that's so cool. Like, I wish I did something like that because I left, like, like body acting. I stopped body acting for a while, and I didn't really do much after that. I just lounged around, do, you know, teenage things, like, watch YouTube. Um, yeah. It, it's interesting, for sure. But overall, it was something that I thought was super cool, and then they persuaded me, aka me, to like, oh, I don't know what you do, and they're like, do it, and I'm like, okay. Um, there's even, um, if you scroll long enough, you'll actually see the tweet that was like, they were sending them <laughs> to Brian jokingly if I didn't get accepted into it, which was super hilarious to me because I didn't tell, like, Brian had to tell them, I didn't tell them that I got accepted right off the bat because of my previous experience, um, as well as my voice acting and that, um, script writing, so that was super, super interesting to witness in Twitter as well as school because I had a major panic, I'm like, guys, you're gonna embarrass me, oh, like, I could have died eternally, but, um, as I was like, some of these people I like also contact me as, like, for example, like, uh, Kyle, Lippy, and Penny. Yeah, I know, right? I just literally think all the people were strong. Wow, wow. Like, wow, I could scroll as a Jeez. But, overall, I, like, these guys are, like, super cool. Um, Shadow as well, like, I'm so glad to have met these kind of people because it's strange in a good way that you get a chance to, like, meet people who you have common interests. Like, even 
even if those people might be. Let's say you get signed up to like help a, a YouTuber become a body actor. Um, that's where we all started, honestly. Like all of us, where we are now, we didn't start off right at the bat. Like, oh yeah, you have perfect voice. Let's go, voice actor. No, it's more like. We started off being regular body actors, being screamed at out of top of lungs, educating us not to like fangirl in front of like YouTubers and stuff like that, because it's strange for them. They want to be treated as a real person, and it's true they are real people. They, we like, we know this that they they sound like celebrities. They look like celebrities. Some of them are like really celebrity. <laughs> But then, at the end of the day, they're just people. They're regular, you and me. The only difference is that they create content that all of us are entertained by. Which, for me, is really cool because I, even though I can't count myself as a content creator, I still look up to people. Like, you know, um, like, which one was it? Uh, the odds one's out, said once, senpais can have senpais too. That was the quote. <laughs> which is true. I have my own little senpai, um, like I said, Athma is one of my biggest senpais, um, but I have also, uh, also like other senpais, like artistic senpais, and like different senpais basically. But yeah, one thing for sure, um, when I was doing this drawing, I was thinking of different poses. I had like a lot of di like I had other people in, like included in there. The only problem was that I couldn't like I couldn't think of a great way I was really disappointed um there's another person who was drawing beforehand that I really didn't like it like how she was looking out so I decided to scrap the whole thing and decided to find a cool base for me to like do and because uh Blake and I we were talking one day and we were like, we were like oh my god wouldn't it be hilarious that um Brian had like a stupid outro card not outro card uh waiting card when he live streams and I'm like like, oh my god, like, really stupid, like, all of us are, like, terrorized by a zombie, like, there's a cockroach on the floor, we're all terrified of Brian, like, at the top, like, somewhere in the bookcase, all of us, like, like, everywhere because of the spider, like, some crazy thing, right? And so we decided to look up, like, um, squad bases, and we found this one, and I was like, oh shit! <laughs> and I remembered about that, and I decided to do it, and, but at the same time, because it's a base, um, I didn't want to like legitimately copy Trace it over because that that was my profile pic for the longest time. Trace it over base in a way, which I didn't really like because it wasn't me. Like I liked the face, I liked how it looked. It's just that it didn't feel like it was my own drawing. It felt like I was copying someone else. Well, with this one, even though I did kind of trace some parts of it, like the bone or the shark, um, I really just wanted to like. To, like have my own style within it so that's why like um so um when i was doing the sketches i had to like put everyone in a different color because i kept mixing myself up i was like wait a minute what am i doing again but <laughs> overall i'm super proud of how this turned out it was a bitch to draw everyone for reason. like the biggest one who was a bitch to draw like line art wise was brian brian's fucking face made me so pissed off that there was um i cut this part of the recording out be or else this this actual speed paint is longer than you think it is. Like when it, okay when it stops like being this super fast. Like I don't I can't draw this fast. I can't color this fast. Like this is talent. Like the belief in this, this many people come on. Even. I can't draw this in like, 15 minutes or something. But I was like trying to sketch his face, and for some reason his nose kept bothering me. That I I actually like was so pissed off that. For some unknown reason, I went to Google and I was like, the famous film's real face. And I, and I was like, Brian, why don't you have a side picture? I need a side picture. <laughs> and like, I was like just screaming. I was like panicking. And then, um, I, I cut that whole chunk out because I had to stop the recording because I, I, I literally got so enraged that I started watching a, um, series, um, called Persona, and that was on episode, uh, 54? 50, yeah, rewatching episode 54 at the time, and, um, and because that whole chunk of episodes, like, uh, like, 60 minutes, and I was like, <sighs> yeah, I can't put an hour in there, I wasn't drawing, I was just raging and watching YouTube, like, what more can I ask? So I decided to, like, cut that part out, because the total time would have been 
like the total time I spent like un like uncut on un um unlike stop would have been a full like six hours. But I chucked it down because there were some parts that I was drawing, there were some parts that I like was just like taking a break. So it ended up being like around like four hours of pure drawing, straight up. Um yeah, weird right? The other thing that I was a bitch to do too was Blake's coloring. Now her shading pissed me off because I never realized I colored on the wrong layer. I was super pissed at myself that I was like, oh my god, Lippy's too. I colored Lippy's jacket on the wrong layer, and I was like, oh my god. And then Quinny, Quinny, I could not draw Quinny for the life of me, which is strange because I, when I draw, some of you guys who've seen my artwork before have seen that I've done chibis and I've done them small, like tiny, and I couldn't draw Quinny, and I was so pissed. By the way, that little thing that it's on Blake's head, you guys will never know what that is. Because that's an inside joke between me, her, and everyone else who knows Blake. <laughs> but yeah, if you do know who that is, let's just say I'd be expecting a couple of comments down below on what that thing is. <laughs> if not, then I hope you guys can guess. But I think for sure it was super fun to do this because as I was coloring, I actually thought of like, a <laughs> I, I kind of wanted to write a script. A little script about what the story is for this, and I kind of thought this was a little spoilery, but I think it's super hilarious, super stupid. But at the same time, I don't know. I always get these sporadic ideas that cause me to not do anything of work, which is probably a good thing. I just got back to school. Like right now, I'm gonna be like, I'm just got back on Thursday. So yeah, that was interesting. Uh, hellfire. Um, let's not talk about school, okay? I'm gonna stop and tell you guys this little story that I came up with it. So, the story that I came up with this while drawing was that one day Brian came to us and he's like, Guys, guys, guess what? There's, uh, there's a Pokemon out the water. There's been sightings. There have been like everything. We need to go. I want to catch it. I have Pokeballs. And we're like, S Okay. And then we're like, okay, like, how bad can it be, right? We get on the boat, and we discover it's a robot, and we're like, Brian, why the hell did you get a robot? He's like, trust me, come on, come on, let's go, let's go, 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 go. And we're like, okay. So we get on the boat, and it turns out that um, the boat originally had a sail, but it broke off. And we had to pull out the paddles. And we were like, god damn, we were like, all stressed out because it's been a long journey. We've been rowing, we've been doing... And so what happened was, is that Kyle was pushed off by Jupe. I mean, Kyle start, started to get the bright idea to pull Jupe's werewolf tail. And he was like, and Jupe got really mad and pushed him off. And as you know, some of you guys know, werewolves are extremely strong. So, Jupe pushed him off and was trying to submerge him. While Kyle was being, like, was super mad because he he's super pissed at Jupe. And I see this all go down and I'm panicking because I don't want to lose anyone. So I decided to like try to like stop you and I'm just like I said my character's an elf so it's like I'm just an elf like I'm, I'm barely I don't want to use like let's say in this universe I don't have magic so I'm just like uh uh what do I do and then then there's um Justin then there's Blake looking at us like uh like what the fuck guys can't you just be mature for once in your life which is something that Blake often says to us <laughs> Then there's just as like, ah, oh, I just wanted to go home. This is supposed to be a short journey. Ah, oh, I just want to go eat. Is it too much to ask? And then there's Shadow and Cat. Um, Shadow and Cat, I find this part hilarious because a shark emerges from the water and Shadow's like, ooh, a shark. And Cat's like, seriously, you've never seen a shark in your life. Seriously. So she's kind of like irritated by Shadow. Never seeing a shark. Which I don't know why it's hilarious to me to think about. And then in the back, because of the bases didn't include like Quinnies and um, Lippies, I said to add that myself and include that to the story. So with that being said, um, the story with that is that Quinny decided to sneak onto the boat. Lippy followed, and because Lippy kind of got a little bit of seasick, she was like kind of like afraid, terrified for Quinny being the small child of the group. 
And Brian's like, onwards, my peasants, you know what I mean? Like, yeah. But, unfortunately, that's the end of the speed game itself. So. Hopefully you guys enjoy this, and if you do, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe, and comment down below who you want to see next, and as well, outro for this week, it's gonna be for you, Jitter. who doesn't like that song? Uh, yeah, I like that song, so until next time, see you guys. Bye!